Hi everyone, it's Nicole here today for the Waffle Flower Coloring Fun Blog Hop, and I am using the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers with the Tiger and Lily stamp set from Waffle Flower, one of the new stamp sets and coordinating dies from their latest release, as well as using the cute little toucan there and one of the phrases from the new Hibiscus Waffle Flower stamp set. I'm going to start by die cutting, or rather stamping, my images on some watercolor cardstock. This is the Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock. And I'm stamping a bunch of the images from the Tiger and Lily stamp set. I'm going to have the shark, both of the palm trees, a sword for my little pirate shark, the little island there that's an oval, the treasure chest, and then I'm going to do the little hat as well here in a little bit. I'm going to start coloring some of my images, and I did start out coloring my palm tree with these brighter greens. These greens are perfectly fine and would have worked great, but I kind of chose some different colors for the rest of my images, so you're going to see how I fixed these palm trees so that I did not have to restamp and recolor them here in a little bit. I colored both of those the same using those colors. All of the colors that I'm using, I should mention, are shown in the upper left corner of the screen. So if you're curious about which Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers I am using here, those are all shown up there for easy reference. What I love about these markers is that they blend so well and they make you look like a watercolor artist, even if you're not. I am definitely not proficient in watercolor whatsoever, but I love how these markers make me feel like I'm an artist. And they definitely give that watercolor look. You can blend them like you're doing here. You could add water to them if you want to. I, most of the time, prefer to just blend the markers together as is. So I've colored in the trunk of the tree, the coconuts there, and I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the shark. There is one difference between the shark that I am showing here and the shark on the finished card, and that is I re-stamped and recolored my shark because when I colored him, I loved how I colored his skin there, but I colored the inside of his mouth a dark black. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. It would look fine but I really wanted the inside of his mouth to look a little bit different or have a little bit of color. So what I did was fix that and color it with a little pink, which is that last color listed in the upper corner of the screen there when I was coloring the shark. Now, after I colored the shark, I realized I didn't like how bright green my palm, uh, palm leaves were on the trees. So to fix this, I went over it with two shades of kind of olive. Uh, Zig Clean Color markers, and I love how that looks so much better. You can see I was doing a thumbs up there a little bit ago. Um, and then I went ahead and moved on to the little sandy island, and I used a couple of shades of brown or beige there. And then I'll move over and do my smaller palm tree. I'm glad that I did not re-stamp the whole thing. I kind of like how it looks layered over that lighter color. I'm going to go ahead and stamp the little bandana hat there for my pirate shark. And I'm gonna color that in with some reds. I was trying out a couple of different reds to see what I liked together. I'm gonna to start with carmine red and then do the light carmine to blend that. And then go in with a little bit even darker red to add some depth, dimension there. This is the 024. If that gets a little dark, I can blend it out with some lighter colors as well. For the sword, I am using some very, very light grays and blending them. In fact, those two lighter grays were very similar. I did lay in just a tiny bit of my dark, my darkest gray, and then I blended that back out, and I like the gradual darkening of that. Unfortunately, I didn't realize I was a little bit out of screen for the treasure chest, so that is I'm coloring it with those two colors of markers shown there. I'll move it down here in a bit. It's going to be just kind of a little bit darker than the island and a little bit different shade than even the uh, bases of the palm trees or the trunks of the palm trees. 
I used the coordinating dies. I taped those all in place over the images and then ran them through my Big Shot die cutting machine to cut everything out. I got almost everything with one pass of the machine. I had to go back with the last palm tree. It wouldn't quite fit with the other dies and die cut it on its own. There is not a die for the little oval island. However, that's not really a huge deal. It's very easy to fussy cut since it's a nice smooth line all the way around. I just cut that out. Now I thought my scene needed a little toucan, so I am gonna stamp and color him in with the colors shown there along the top of the screen. Some bright colors and then finish it off with some nice dark gray. I didn't even blend that with anything else. I just simply colored that all in with some gray. Now, if you have the coordinating dies, you can die cut him with the coordinating die that goes with that. I did not have the coordinating die, but I wanted him to look like the rest of my images that do have that little bit of a white outline. So when I fussy cut him out, I did kind of cut around him, leaving a little bit of a border. Now I die cut some waves using the Lawn Fawn wave border dies. And then I am stamping a greeting, a partial greeting from the Tiger and Lily Waffle Flower stamp set. And then I'm taking the word your from the Waffle Flower Hibiscus stamp set and replacing that word just so that it makes it a little bit bolder and gives the greeting a couple of different fonts. I stamped those with Versamark ink and heat embossed those with white embossing powder. And I made a little bit of a mess with my embossing powder, so I had to clean that up before I put my card all together. Now, all three of these colors of card, of card stock are from Avery L. They're their note cards. I used one as my card base, and then the other two, I just took my uh, wavy border dies and die cut a whole bunch of these waves to layer along that bottom portion of my card. I've tucked my island in. I'll tuck in my little shark there with his hat. Originally, I thought I would do the bird a little different. That's what that black mark is on his little bandana around his head. But that's gonna get covered up when I stick the toucan in place. Once my scene is all built, I'll trim off that excess. And then comes those final finishing details. I'm gonna take a black gel pen and really make the toucan's eye nice and dark and black. Then I will take the Wink of Stella Clear Glitter Brush Marker and color that over the sword to give it a little glitz and glimmer. And finally, I'm gonna finish with some glossy accents on not only the shark's teeth, gives them a little bit of a, makes them look even more sharp and pointy, I think. And I'll use it on the eye of the toucan as well. And then you wanna make sure you let that sit and dry really well before you try to either stand it up or move it. You don't wanna get your hand in it and smear that glossy accents anywhere. I think it really makes a huge difference just a teeny tiny little thing like adding those glossy accents. I hope you've enjoyed this video showcasing new stamps and dies from the Waffle Flower release. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.